Shooty. Welcome to my kitchen guys, welcome today. So today I'm just going to take you through on how to make samosa pockets. Very simple, I'm just going to make like hearty pockets of samosa pockets. So for our ingredients, what I have is, I have flour, I have salt, I'm going to use a little sugar, we have cooking oil, and then uh, this is my hot water. So onto the first process, what I'm going to do, it's just to put, uh, you add some little of this is salt and uh, sugar then you stuff I really like mixing them together I really like starting with like uh, I really like mixing my sugar and uh, salt into hot water but you can do it some people like this is flour already I'm just making dirty pieces some people like putting like sugar and salt direct here which is also good but for me, I like concentrated concentrated water. How do we call it? Yeah. I really like making like a solution, a concentrated solution. Let me tell you. Let me say that in simple words. So first thing first, this is flour. You add kidogo oil, then you mix, 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 mix. Supposed to look like something like that. You rub in, you rub flour with oil together. Flour with oil together. Then you take your water to add. Then you make like small round balls like this one so that is what I've done I've made like small round balls then I cover them just cover them not uh, so that they don't get dry then we have our pan here I usually use a very low heat so I'm going to make like I'm going to roll one of them uh, each one one at a time I make then I put here just you just put once to dry then you keep them here so onto our first one just like chapati you do them just like chapati but these ones should be very they are very thin flat you roll them to be there because I'm going to cut like the four chapati, the one piece, one round piece, I'm going to cut it into four. So in a five twelve four chapatis, like not four chapatis, in a four, sorry, in a five twelve four pockets. So make sure you roll it into a very thin, light, very thin layer. Make sure you call it a visa. Roll, roll, roll. You put it a light thin layer. You chop it a visa. Thin a visa. Very light, very thin. Here I call the paka almost kuraruka or almost a semi That's how I can put it. Something like that, very light. Then you come to my pan is hot. If you don't go too low heat, sikausha sana. The pockets will get drier. So 
if you fall, they'll be cracking. So my katu is she cannot walk the dog then you remove give up. something like that. You see, us kamusha sana then you put uga the sikwami. pieces of look like so on to our next process I'll be cutting this I told you I'm making like this one I'll get like four pockets so you cut like that half and quarter half quarter half quarter so like that I'll do that to all them into quarters that is how they look like then uh, I now want to make the pockets so the next process is making a paste a thick paste this is basically I've used uh, like warm uh, it's lukewarm water then I've added with flour then you make thick paste like this yeah so on to Folding process. This is how we fold the pockets. Yeah, you do like this, then like this. This is how we fold them. You apply your paste, then you fold. This is how they look like. Then after stuffing in with your minced meats, veggies. Then you fold like that. But for now, this is how the pocket is going to look like. <laughs> My people, my people. So these are our pockets. Our pockets are ready. Then I just decided to Elena cook a what? And doing samosas in a. We fill in the pockets. I show you guys how to make. So I have because I. I have some kidogo meat over here. That is my meat already my minced meat so for the ingredients that i have my red onions but you can use um you can use like the white onions onions of your cherries then i have coriander mixed spices black pepper paprika ginger cayenne royco curry powder so already in it, I started boiling it, then you put your onions. Put 
Ja, ja. I'm using a lot of onions. This was half kg, half kg meat with a medium size, four medium size onions. I like a lot of onions. Spices, I'll add mixed spices. Next is paprika. Cayenne. My curry powder. Just a little. Ginger spice, last but not least we have Royco, you can use Royco cubes, if you are a fan of cubes it's usually also advisable and for the spices you can also use your choice, yeah, it's not necessary you go with what my choice, this is just my choice, what I've decided, but you can try any spice of your choice. Then on to our last spice, which is black pepper. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Masai we have black pepper. In many parts, as well, I just have to remove some. Na kuambia black pepper imeji fungua sasa kwa samosa yangu waki. Black pepper kumwagika. This is the whole black pepper. The sweet, we usually use this thing for grinding. Na mdiwane memwagika nani? But you are going to move. So then what you can then use my spatula either. I want to start in the samosas. Make sure you cover your pockets. Cover them nicely. Though this thing could disappoint, they usually dry up, yeah. And uh, while starting in, when I cut as my mini they break. So make sure you cover them nicely. They don't put a lot of stuffing inside. It can also mess you up when it comes to this process of like um, doing what, putting paste. Folding is going to be So, make sure you apply your paste nicely like that. Then fold. Fold this zozi. Fold this zozi. Okay. Fold me nicely.
muscles are ready this is how they look like and uh, make sure you just continue covering them so that they don't dry up i'm even ready to like to put them in oil the oil is not supposed to be that hot iki kwa ile moto sana inafanya nini that is why unapata the samosa zinakurakuru and everything so your oil should not be very very hot yeah? let your oil not be very hot i'm coming let me just look i don't come here there's hot oil what and it looks like what is it doing the samosas are ready our yummy delicious samosas mafuta is ikoe moto sana moto sana yes it is Thanks for having that patience of seeing the samosa process that as in um, watching it until the end of the video and seeing it and uh, trust the process. Trust me too. They are very yummy by the way. So let me take this opportunity also to advertise my uh, catering services. I also I do outside catering. Yeah? So like for the uh, samosas like this, ready-made samosas, beef samosas, I usually sell them at 50 bob per piece. Yeah? I also do like samosa pockets. If you want samosa pockets and uh, you are also going to like, um, you are also a business person, but you don't know you you don't know how to make the pockets. I usually do ten bob per piece per pocket. If you're taking like many pieces and folded samosa pockets at five bob per piece. If you're taking like uncooked samosas or pre-cooked samosas, beef samosas, I usually charge at forty bob per piece. So you can also promote my outside catering. Thanks for watching guys and kindly subscribe, like and share. Bye.